Why did you choose English as your major? I have loved to read since I was in junior high, and I really wanted to go into something that allowed me to pursue more in the area of books. So when I came here for English, I just immediately wanted to learn how to be a better reader and also be able to write about what I was reading. What types of skills does this sort of study give you? Um, what? So, skills and kind of maybe um, a different way than a lot of my colleagues might think about the skills that their uh, career path or area of study gives them is um, people like folks who can tell a good story, right? And so there's a basic way of um, entertaining folks but also so for instance my daughter is in um, my daughter is in martial arts right now and um, her guru will a lot of times uh, try and explain something recognize it's not clicking for the students and so he'll give an example from history or he'll tell sort of a, a fable about something and the kids get totally captivated by it, and then he's able to kind of explain to them a second time. And so stories help us connect, and that idea that um, I can use this to try and connect to somebody and try and um, cloak my message a little bit so that they'll find it more tolerable, they'll find it more accessible, um, acceptable rather. Uh, it's a way that you can kind of help to persuade people or help to connect to people that I think is actually pretty valuable. Even the fact that now, when I'm explaining this to you, I don't just explain it to you, but I give the example of my daughter in her martial arts class. That's a form of what I'm doing. I'm telling you a story. I'm giving you another character to try and communicate what I'm saying so that hopefully it's clearer. What made Eureka the college for you? My mom actually works here, but I've also had family members and very close friends go here before. So when I came to visit, it was a huge feeling of home and family to me. So even though I do only live a couple miles away, it's still a second home for me. How is an English degree from Eureka College different from other colleges and universities? So um, this will kind of um, this will kind of jump ahead to one of your other questions, I think. But uh, a couple of years ago, we got an email from somebody who went on to graduate school, and. Um, he, it was a very nice email. It thanked us for sort of preparing him for um, theory and preparing him for the more challenging ideas that he met in graduate school. And so um, a lot of times the language that we'll use in academia for how to effectively challenge students is uh, high expectation but high support. And again, because we see you on a regular basis and uh, we see you over a number of years, we can push you a little further than some other places will, but we do that with the understanding that um, it's not just pushing you, it's also um, pushing you and patting you on the back at the same time, because we're there to, to make sure that you don't struggle too much. Um, and so you'll get introduced to some higher level, more sophisticated concepts than you will elsewhere, because you'll have, um, you'll have a lot of the same students in the same classes, you'll have a chance to bounce ideas off of each other more than you will at other institutions. And so um, the degree at, uh, the degree at uh, Eureka College is in some ways more rigorous, but it's more rigorous because you have more of the support to help you get through it. Do you have a favorite professor? Who and why? I do. His name is Dr. Cavalier, and he is so amazing with books. He can find ways to make the driest literature seem fascinating to you. And at 8 in the morning, he's better than a cup of coffee. What did you major in? Uh, I majored in economics in college. I went to a small college like Eureka, and uh, we only took about 25% of our courses in our major and that left a lot of room to do other things. So I actually had almost enough coursework to major in psychology or in English. But I finished in economics, and part of that was practical. My dad had worked on Wall Street, and then I decided to work on Wall Street um, for three years, and then I realized I hated that. So, because I had majored in English, I mean majored in economics, but had all this English and psychology 
coursework, I could go to graduate school in either of those things, and I wound up going to graduate school in English literature. What advice would you give to a prospective student looking into English as a major? I would think about whether you want to specify in literature or writing, because Eureka offers tracks for both. And then also, of course, shameless plug if you would want to teach English. Is there any advice you would give to students looking into English Lit as a major? I would say think of it not just as a teaching uh, prep major. I think I would say think of it in terms of the, the skills that I just described, because honestly, if you can do, if you can read critically, write clearly, and develop that sense of of uh, empathy and understanding why people think certain ways, I don't. I don't think there are very many things you can't do. You can't be a neurosurgeon doing that, I understand that, but there are um, a lot of things that you can do other than teach. I teach and I love teaching, but that's not necessarily the argument for going into English. How does Eureka properly set up English majors for grad school? Okay, so there again you get more, um, I've given you half the answer so far, which is that you get more theory and you get introduced to more of the um, I don't know philosophical is what I want to say, but maybe more abstract concepts. But here's the other key difference is I would say a cultural difference, which is um, when you go to graduate school, um, a former student kind of asked me, you know, doesn't it have this huge impact on your life? And yeah, it does, but arguably, um, if you spend six to eight years of your life anywhere around the same 15 people, in your early to mid 20s to late 20s, it's gonna have a huge impact on your life, right? Because these are your formative years and you're spending a lot of time with the same people, so yeah. What jobs does a English Lit degree make available to you? So, this might sound like a dodge, but I think there are very few that in jobs that English majors can't do. Um, I'll give you an example, when I was working uh, on Wall Street, I worked at a firm called Moody's Investor Services, which is a bond rating agency, and one of the managing directors that I worked with had a PhD in English Lit from Harvard. So, and others around me had uh, degrees that were in the humanities even though they were doing high level finance stuff. So, <clears throat> I think any kind of job that, that requires you to think critically, re requires you to be able to write well, um, where you are you need to empathize with people and understand different perspectives. All of those kinds of jobs I think you know, English majors can pursue, as well as teaching, but I don't think teaching is the only thing, and I think a lot of people take English majors because that's what they want to do, but you could work at Caterpillar if you wanted to with an English degree. Um, you may not be able to build bulldozers, but there are other things that you'd be able to do. What do you get out of your English classes? I mostly get new ways to see how to read something. I am a firm believer in the fact that you never read the same book twice because you as a person change. So I like that it's making me kind of evolve as a reader. What made you want to work at Eureka? Dr. V. What makes Eureka a good place to study creative writing? Um, because it has the most dedicated, intelligent, and handsome faculty members. What makes Eureka a good place to study English Lit? Well, first of all, I think we are extremely fortunate in having, um, I have three really outstanding colleagues who are, they care a lot about students, and all liberal arts colleges, small colleges say, well, it's personal attention and all that. I've been at another institution like this that doesn't really uh, walk that walk. I mean, they, they say that, but you can't really get a hold of professors. I've seen faculty on this floor um, work several with several students over and over and over again on particular kinds of skills, but more than that, mentor them and help them think through what it is that they might want to do with their lives. And I think, um, so that's, that's a real plus. But also, I have brilliant faculty uh, colleagues and that it's always nice to have extremely intelligent people around you.